Hey guys and welcome to Petroped. Now about a year ago I had Ruby Rose to there ceramic coated and I only put a one year ceramic coat on it and the results were really impressive but guess what it's a year so they've kind of faded a little bit but what I really want to do is to protect the Clubman so today I'm going to be putting well not me a good friend of mine, Ryan from RPM Valeting and Detailing, is going to be coming and putting a three-year ceramic coat on the Clubman. But we're also going to be doing the wheels and the brake calipers. And I thought it'd be a really interesting video to see the process involved in ceramic coating wheels. And don't worry, no sponges will be used during the making of this video. Now then, welcome back to the barn, sir. Thank you. <laughs> it's your third time. Yes. <laughs> I keep yeah. getting you back to clean my cars. So we're, today we're gonna be doing some ceramic coating, mm -hmm. but we thought it would be interesting because we've done a ceramic coating video already. We did Ruby Roadster with a one-year ceramic coat. That's right, yeah. So this time we're doing a three-year ceramic coat on the bodywork, mm -hmm. and we're gonna ceramic coat the wheels. That's right, yeah. And the brake calipers. And the brake calipers with, mm. with the dedicated uh, wheel coating. Yes. Yeah. Now, the interesting thing about that is that means the wheels need to come off. And that also means that the order in which you would do things, because we haven't got a scissor lift or the ability to literally lift the car and stick it on axle stands, although we have axle stands, but it's a long story. It is. So we're going to do it a slightly different way before anybody jumps in the comments section and goes, eh. <laughs> um, so we are going to be doing it in a different way. So plan first is bodywork. Yeah, well, um, initial clean of the arches. Then we'll do all the bodywork, wash and decon, get that get that prepped, and then we'll then we'll move on to the wheels. Um, Excellent. We'll try and explain a bit more later as we go. Yeah. But, um, yeah. It's a little bit out of my normal order that I do things. <laughs> so I just gotta <laughs> switch around in my head. But uh, it'll be it'll, it'll be. We'll good. be all right. Yeah, we'll be, be all right. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. So I'm looking forward to this because that should mean my wheels uh, stay cleaner and are far easier to clean. Yeah. But they'll also have some protection on them mm -hmm. because I love them very much. But also the bodywork, um, I'm just looking forward to that beading. Yes. Super Over beading. Easy, oh. easy to clean in the winter. Oh. Yeah. Bring it on. So that's Ryan's done the pre pre wash. <laughs> it's probably cleaner than it's ever been. Now we are also going to quickly spruce up underneath the bonnet because I am going to be doing some filming with someone who needs to do some work under the bonnet actually this week, uh, coming to the channel soon. Uh, and it's not had a clean since I've got the car either. Okay, so pre-pre-wash is done. Pre-wash is done, snow foam's done. Wash is done. And now it's time for the fallout stuff that turns purple and absolutely, oh, mate, that stinks. Oh. To put one of your masks on. Yeah, I, I need right? some masks. Ah, I need some, in fact, I do, like, maybe, maybe I could, good, good, good. Yeah. Maybe I could put one of my new petrol ped uh, COVID-19 masks on. Available from controlandshift.com forward slash collections forward slash petroped. Only ten pounds. We're just using um, filtered water to do a final rinse down. The bulk of the clean's been done with tap water, but because we're going to leave the car wet at this stage um, and take the wheels off, we, if we're using tap water, we're going to dry the car again, or, or dry the car now, and then we might need to re rinse the car later, potentially, depending what other dirt comes out of the arches and such like, which then means another rinse and another dry. But using filtered means I can leave the car wet and it'll just dry naturally without any um, water spots. There you go. See, I wouldn't have filtered water. In, I haven't got a van with a 400 litre <laughs> tank in the back. But it is looking very clean. It's probably about as clean as it's ever been, but next thing we need to do is we need to get them wheels off and start working on them. So the car is all clean on the outside, but we did have a minor issue. 
<laughs> Getting these off without the correct tool that you get from OZ was challenging. It was a bit tricky. <laughs> but we, we managed it. We dug but into we, our DIY we, skills. We did have a bit of a flap for a moment thinking we can't get the wheels off. Now, the, the problem with that is when I, we ceramic coated the Roadster's wheels, mm -hmm. but just on the outside, but we want to do the barrels and the faces of this. And the calipers. And the calipers. And you can't do that with the wheels on the car. So you have to take the wheels off. So thankfully, this has come off. We've now untalked all of the bolts on the wheels. So we're now going to jack the car up and get the wheels off and clean them one at a time. Yep. Whew. For a moment then we were replanning this video, but it's all right. It's all right. Shall I go and put the kettle on? Yep. Good idea. Yeah, let's get a brew. <laughs> now you see, you have to get the wheel off to be able to clean inside. <laughs> Are you cleaning with suspension struts as well? No. <laughs> oh, what? Just around the edges. Give, Mate. A, little, uh, give a tickle. Okay. But we can have a good clean of that caliper as well. So what's the best thing for cleaning a caliper? Because I guess sometimes, you know, people might want to take the wheel off and give it a good clean. I know they probably won't ceramic coat it like we're going to, but... Yeah, so it's just, it's just going to use a wheel cleaner. Ah, okay. Just with that, a little brush. Just with a wheel, wheel cleaning brush or, or a different, different brush. All the arches have been done with... Um, a citrus all-purpose cleaner and then scrubbed and rinsed and then we just did, did the whole process twice really just to <coughs> ensure it's clean yeah, yeah. finally my nice huge calipers are going to look awesome and then the ceramic coat you put on the calipers is that the same as the ceramic coat you're going to put on the wheels yes it is yeah so it's specifically designed to yeah, so it's a design. It's a ceramic designed for for wheels. It's designed to take the the higher temperatures that's involved around this part of the car. Yeah, it's a different coating to, to the paintwork. Um, really, just down to, down to that. It's got more ceramic content in it. Yeah, makes it more durable. Makes it more hardy to all the all the things that you know a wheel and brake setup has to endure on the road. Really cool. Yeah. He's had it again. Double clean. I've got a sponge you can borrow if you want. No, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> so you enjoying all of my spokes there, mate? Oh, uh, you've got too many, Pete. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely too many. So that's just a wheel cleaner and a, soft a brush. Wheel, soft wheel brush. Yeah, and a wheel cleaner. And a wheel degreaser. I mean, they, they shouldn't be too bad because they're quite new and I have washed them a couple of times. Yeah. It's only, um, it's only light brake dust, there's nothing really heavily embedded on here, although we will use the wheel fallout cleaner, Yeah. the, love, the stuff you love the smell of. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I love the smell of that. That will go on them, just to make sure there's no embedded stuff in the wheels before the coating goes on. And then the great thing to get and clean inside the barrels is great. And on the inside of the spokes, I guess. Yeah, the backs. Yeah. The most impressive thing is we've noticed that Mrs. Petroped has managed to curb the inside of the wheel. <laughs> Look at that, I can't believe that. It's only a tiny nick though. So the wheels are clean and are drying, so you're now going to start applying the ceramic coat to the calipers. That's right, yep. And that is the tiniest bottle ever. 30 mil. Wheel Guard Pro. Do the whole set. And that, that's whole set not of wheels. So that's. I thought that was just for the calipers, but that's all the wheels as that's well. That's right. Yeah. So you're just applying that with a a special. It's essentially like a makeup pad. Yeah. Type applicator. And then that goes off relatively quickly yeah and within a within well it will vary depending on the, the air temperature but within a few minutes if not quicker and then just buff it off so we've been joined by the pups who are now going to help Hallie what are you doing we're now going to help us apply ceramic coating to the wheels so these have all been cleaned and dried we're going to do the barrel first and then flip them over and do the main face. You got pro. And what we were 
most impressed with is the guys when they fitted these at low and used black wheel weights. <laughs> look, we even get even ceramic coat on the wheel weights, look. So coating's been applied, it's dried, and now it's buffing time. They do look very sexy. Now then, spring forward, would you believe, probably two hours, and all the wheels are done, and they are back on the car. I've left the centre caps off for now because once we finish, I'm just going to check the torque on each of the nuts before I put the centre caps back on. Um, but the next job is to prepare the car finally for the ceramic coating. So what are you doing there, dude? You're just giving it a wipe off? Yeah, just um, there's a little bit of water that's just left in the car. It's just going to dry, dry off any, any drips. And we've um, just bought the car out of the garage just to give us a little bit of better light because it's now getting towards the end of the day. <laughs> we, it's like, mm -hmm. So yes, we're going to uh, get cracking, but we've still got a bit left time-wise. We'll be right. Just, just enough, I think. Just enough before it gets dark. Yeah. Another hour or two, maybe. Now we have made the executive decision while we were cleaning the car. You will notice that the mini badge has been removed from there. I'd caught it a couple of weeks ago on a drying towel and basically it was coming hot hanging off so it just looked a bit rubbish so it has been replaced but we're just slowly getting rid of all the last bits of excess water and we can start to do the ceramic coating. Now then what are you up to dude? So this is a, uh, a panel wipe so once now the car's all dry and sorted we just need to make sure that there's no residue left from any chemicals or anything else left on the car so the, uh, so the ceramic can bond directly to the paint so yeah it's kind of a you know, an IPA alcohol based um, panel wipe just to make sure that's all removed from the car and it smells nice it doesn't it's horrible no that one's all right it's better than that fallout <laughs> stuff <Yeah. laughs> so I'm guessing moisture is your enemy as well as um, dirt and, and any kind of yeah, contamination. absolutely. I mean a little, the odd drip when you put the coating on, if you wipe it away you can you can deal with it but obviously yeah you don't want, or you don't really want any water but yeah if you manage it correctly and, and you deal with it then it's not it's not a problem but. And this this coating we're putting on is a three year, so the wheels were a, was a one year. Yeah coating specifically designed for the wheels so That's what right. coating are we putting on the car so the car will be coating farm aqua coat plus which is a three-year rated 9h hard um, ceramic coating um, it's, um, it's quite unique in its application that when it goes on you'll, you'll, you'll see when we when we get to it we actually use water to buff it off or to help buff it off wow um, which from a science perspective, many people will think, well, why would you do that? But that's the way it's designed and that's the way we've been shown by the manufacturer to use the product. So that's, uh, that's what we do. You're just fending off any comments now, aren't you? Well, you know, make, you never know what might happen. <laughs> Highly experienced now at doing YouTube videos on cleaning a car. We haven't used a sponge yet. No, definitely not. <laughs> Hashtag no sponge. So I've talked me nuts, they are all fine, centre caps back on, wheels looking excellent and now Ryan has started the application of the ceramic coat uh, and he's obviously taking his time, I have a feeling it's going to take a while <laughs> but the results are going to be worthwhile. So what are you doing there mate? So this is the light buff, so once the... Um the coating is applied, the way this coating works is you do a few panels at a time 
and then you go back and do a very very light buff off off just to remove the top of the coating and help to get it level and then after that we go back around and do the final buff it's quite a unique way to to work with this one but each each coating has a different a different method mm -hmm. within this range and within other manufacturers as well that, that looks like a wet cloth my friend currently wet so we want it damp damp so yeah a damp cloth so yeah essentially run run under the tap or popped in a bucket soaked up it's a brand new cloth ring out so it's damp and then the last stage of the removal process on this one so we've got a clean dry towel and a clean damp towel and over the top and then immediately back over it with a dry towel mm -hmm. and that removes the, any leftover elements as you buff off the ceramic and then helps leave the high shine and removes any risks of smears and then that's it then once that's buffed like that that's yeah once that's all buffed off then that's the coating done and then this needs to stay dry for minimum two hours and then it's good to go out in the rain if it needed to but obviously it can go in here tonight yeah, it's going to definitely uh, go inside be fine yeah cool i am getting my car detailed by the karate kid wax on wax off Are you applying a quite a heavy pressure with that or is it just no, a... No, just enough to to make contact of it. The, um, the circular motion again is something within the guidance of, of this product to use. It likes to be buffed off with a circular motion. I was going to say because... Detailers hate, <laughs> as a rule, anybody doing like this on a panel. Yeah. Especially with a sponge. Um, yeah, right, yes, know, that's me, right? yeah. Um, so, so yeah, and you can finish with straight lines, but yeah, it's designed to be removed in that way. Um, so Just yeah, before is... anyone jumps in the comments and goes, eh, you're rubbing it in circles. Yeah, so yeah, that panel's buffed now, look. So you can see the shine on it already. It yeah, you have to take our word for it. <laughs> it has got a really nice shine to it. Now then, we are rapidly losing light to film. It's actually fine for what you're doing, yeah, but the camera is not really dealing with it very well. So I am gonna draw the video to a close here, but what I'm gonna do is, at the end of the film, I'll just put up some shots that I'll take tomorrow in the daylight just to show the shine on the car. But massive thanks to Ryan. Um, I'm gonna put all his details below, all the processes, and we can maybe put mm -hmm. what, what products, products you use and that yeah, kind yeah. of stuff. Um, and I'll put Ryan's contact details. I just thought it'd be quite an interesting video to, to look at doing wheels and <laughs> it's been an interesting mm -hmm. process. It takes a long time. It's, surprising. it's a lengthy, it surprising. lengthy process, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I'm chuffed with the, uh, with the results, that's for sure. But anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this one and found it useful. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. I'll put Ryan's Instagram details um, down below and right there right now. So um, follow you on social media because you Thank always you. put in pictures yep. of the nice cars that you're detailing and stuff. Um, and I'll see you on the next film, guys, but you take care. Drive safe.